Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial today uh, I'm gonna edit a new photo uh, indoor photo I'm just opening it up and here is my photo stock photo I'll give you the download link of this uh, photo okay this one is well light and well color but uh, this one is not uh, properly shadow and highlighted that's why I'm just uh, editing this one okay let's start at first just uh, make a copy by pressing ctrl G here is a mirror but nothing is uh, this one is not mirror actually a photo frame this one is not uh, uh, fully fill up it's blank that's why at first I'll go to the quick selection tool and select this one okay after that just press ctrl J okay it's copied uh, and after that I will make a copy of this image uh, control J and I'll take this photo here and press control T and make it smaller okay zoom this one take this photo and just reposition like that make it bigger okay just place properly and hit the ok button after that just make it create clipping mask okay uh, suppose this one is uh, uh, just uh, make your photo fulfill okay make these three layers in a group and making it marked by pressing ctrl E after that make another two layers by pressing ctrl J and J I'm giving here a B for burn and D for dodge okay after that I'm turning off the D layer turning on the B layer making it blending mode in skin and blending option just uh, I'll slide uh, this one and adjust the light options press the alter button and slide this slider and adjust the light the face okay and hit the ok button and after that mask this one go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button and turn on the D layer make the blending mode in a multiply go to the blending options and slider this slider uh, I'll just slide this one find the shadow areas press the alter button and hold it and click here it will divide and adjust the light with the face and shadow with the face and hit the ok button mask this one go to the image and apply image before that tick the invert option and hit ok and select the, these two layer make it group make it merge and going to the uh, mask options mask this one and going to the image and apply image uncheck the invert option and hit the ok okay uh, you'll get a subtle change over there the highlighted area and shadow area are prominent in this photo okay after that just take a blank layer and I'll correction the eyes actually and I'll take a brush and select the brush the hardness 0% and the brush size that's okay uh, 59 or 60 percent is good and click once before that check the opacity 100 percent and flow 100 percent and click here once and before that one thing is that you have to reset this one and make it white full white select here and click here after that go to the blending mode and make it the overlay option okay it will prominent that's good and select this three layer make it group make it march okay after that i'm going to the filter and camera filter from the camera filter i'll do color correction of this photo uh, i'll make uh, this one uh, dreamy effect actually okay at first the exposure a little bit up and contrast two percent highlight a little bit down and press the alter button when you are getting dots no dots in a black skin and leave it okay 
after that shadow I'll add the shadow minus a uh, little bit minus 10 and white options place the outer button and just slider okay when you are getting dot in a black skin and just leave it okay after that black same place the alter button and hold it and when you are getting some dots in a white screen and just leave it okay after that adjust the exposure a little bit okay that's good add some clarity uh, five percent that's good go to the sharpening options uh, detail option amount of sharpening increase and give some luminance of noise reducer a little bit luminance of uh, color okay that's good color detail okay that's good from the camera calibration adjust the primary color primary blue you like that and I'll give the golden effect like that okay, that's good and go to the HSL option here is the saturation of red I'll decrease the luminance of red and increase the orange the color tone of a face or skin and just decrease add some uh, actually orange saturation you have to increase a little bit and blue i'll add some blue okay blue saturation and going to the effect option add some vignette over there okay after that going to the curves options here is the panoptic and this is the point and from there I'll get the blue options I'll make it warm like that a little bit too warm okay that's good the golden tone I want to bring here and the red also just making it like that keep the setting okay that's good and RGB options here and here okay and hit the ok button okay what was the previous one let's see this one was previous and uh, present now I'm going to the adjustment layer and color lookup from the color lookup I will add a uh, foggy effect and make it the overlay and just 9% that's good okay the shadow is prominent here after that going to the file and place embedded option here is some light collection and I'll use light from there actually this light I'll choose and just rotate this one like that light is coming uh, in from the right side that's why I'm adding this one here and hit the ok button make it blending with skin and like that okay here is some lines you are watching for the light that's why i'll make it the crystallized layer and going to the filter and blur option and make it gaussian blur the line will gone and hit the ok button okay after that going to the adjustment layer going to the color lookup and from the color lookup add the horror blue color and just down the opacity a little bit that's good and after that I'll add another thing which is I'll go to the file and going to the place embedded options and I'll add another light over there light uh, this one yellow light and hit the ok button and place this one and going to the skin blending mode skin actually I'll make it bigger Okay, just give here like that. Okay, make the opposite down or fill down like that. Okay, that's good. And going to the filter and blur option and Gaussian blur. Make it Gaussian blur. Okay, again I'll take another light which is the orange light and place this one. Make it smaller. Place here and make it skin okay that's good and just place this one proper way here like that 
and going to the filter and the blur gallery actually blur in a blur options and Gaussian blur make it like that and hit ok take this one and just make it group uh, opposite it down ok that's good ok color lookup I will increase the opacity a little bit ok that's nice and you can adjust the light also oh, you can make it bigger or you can adjust ok that's good but you have to fill up this portion ok I think this one is good and hit the ok button ok from the level option I'll just adjust level of the blue little bit that's good okay I'm selecting all the layers making it group making it merge and going to the filter and the Nick collection color effects pro 4 okay now if you need these plugins please check out my video description I'll give you the downloading of this Google Nick collection plugin link okay I'm using the cross processing options and here lots of filters you can use another filter uh, any kind of filter from here okay which one is perfect for your photo you have to choose that one uh, maybe I'm gonna use this one or this one is good and hit the ok button okay actually this one is a vintage effect uh, in a photo okay that's good and I'm going another options in a color lookup and I'll try another filter like that uh, this one is good this one is a Fuji uh, F125 Kodak okay and I'll decrease the fill okay that's good and going to the level again actually ex exposure you have to control the exposure like that and add some chroma okay that's good and I'm going to the curves option and just place here and increase some drama like that and okay that's good okay I'm selecting all the things making it group making it merge and going to the filter and the camera raw filter from the camera filter I'll increase the highlight sorry actually decrease the highlight and add some exposure over there and reduce the variance ok that's good and add some whites and from the HSL option I'll down the red one okay, saturation of orange I'll reduce actually uh, plus one is good and hit the ok button ok after that I'm going to the gradient option and take this gradient and make it radial make it zero percent make it reverse and the dot option and make it 300 percent and you can move this one I want to focus here okay that's good and hit the ok button okay that's good and I'll go to the brightness option and increase some brightness a little bit and I'll make it down before the gradient okay I'm making it group making it march okay let's see what was our previous one this one was our previous photos and this one is after edit this photo if you want to make your photo like a vintage look you can follow my tutorial thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend thank you so much till the next video i may see my signing out and bye bye